said he wished that he'd had the courage not to call it a German Requiem. And he said if he wanted to call it anything, it would be a human Requiem. It's a constant dialogue between orchestra and choir. And I think it's hard to know where the orchestra are the singers and where the choir are the players, and who's speaking, who's singing, who's playing. And part of the job was for us all to imitate each other. basic sound of the choir is a very traditional, if you like, old-fashioned German sound, um, which of course turns out probably to be absolutely ideal for music that is German and 100 years old. years and have watched them who were always a very good choir really blossom extraordinarily and particularly in these last years with Simon and it's very interesting because most of them are from the east and many of them live in the same tiny area a lot of them live even in the same two streets so there is a particularly in German music there is a real way in which they do it a way in which the words are pronounced at a very cohesive way of doing this and of course if anything is the center of their repertoire this piece is können wir wirklich wie früher früher musik singen und spielen sehr pronounced so uh, stufenweise verenden. Nicht ja, ta, 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 ta. Niemals Requiem sagen. Ja, immer Requiem. Ba, ba, ja. Wenn es ist espressivo, natürlich, molto, molto vibrato. Okay, so. friends now and it, it's so funny doing this we realize that we know we no longer look at each other well uh, I mean sure at the beginning and the end but while the music is going on there's no need that actually we both <laughs> we both know what will happen and that's that's kind that's a kind of little miracle for us that it's not the thing of growing too accustomed it's just the thing of hearts beating at the same at the same time
But I think at the end of it all, it is very private and very personal. And strangely not particularly religious. Very much to do with humans and what they need and how they get through life. Uh, and that I find particularly touching.